Hey everybody, this is May 14th, 2009. I'm Sonic Sons, and i give you a little bit of common sense advice for keeping yourself uh, safe and stable and such on your computer, uh, specifically if you're running Windows, uh, without spending any money on it. Just a wide variety of very simple things you can do. You don't need to like you know be a real geek for this and stuff. Um, I always found that funny when people like buy a new computer and then they'll like buy say Norton antivirus with it. And I'm like, why would you buy an antivirus? I'm not even talking about illegal downloading. Like there's all this crap load of stuff you can get out there uh, illegally and, and violate copyright and so forth. And uh, I, I you know try to avoid that as much as possible. All the stuff I'm about to mention here is stuff that A, is, is free, B, is legal, and C, is stuff that I've actually used and continue to use and so forth, and it works just fine. It works just fine. The, the stuff you pay for isn't necessarily better. Uh, so on the antivirus front, there's a program called AVG, and there's another one called AVAST. That's A-V-A-S-T, usually with an exclamation point at the end. Uh, I used to use AVG, and then at one point I was trying to upgrade, and they're, they're trying to hide the download for free link on their website a little, and I went to AVAST. I may switch back at some point, I don't know. Um, they're antivirus programs. You might be wondering how exactly you can get them for free. Well, the answer is uh, that they charge for uh, corporate environments uh, when they need, you know, 500 computers or all the other things. That's where these people make their money. Uh, but for private home users, they'll allow you to download it for free and use it with, like, pretty much all the options enabled for free. And that's good enough to protect you. I mean, here I am running Windows XP here, and I've never needed to pay uh, for any sort of antivirus um, and related things. Uh, other random programs. Spybot Search and Destroy. You may have heard of something called... Um, well, there's spyware and adware, and then there's just malware, which is the more general umbrella term, and then there's... there's basically, there's all sorts of random crap that can sneak onto your machine, right? And then it just makes things slower and stuff. In fact, I've done a bit of um, uh, tech support myself, where I go to someone's house and I get paid to you know fix the computer, and a lot of the fixing the computer consists of just downloading these programs and running them and telling them, you know, just run this thing once a week. It's, it's pretty simple. Um... Spybot Search and Destroy is the old granddaddy in the anti-spyware uh, market sort of thing. And um, you basically run that. It's free updates once a week. It'll go through all this stuff. You can delete all random bits of spyware. You can recover these things if for some reason you want your spyware back. Um, and there's other you know, random stuff around there too. There's a, an immunization function in there uh, where it'll block your, your um, browser from going to certain sites that are known to just be total crap. Things like that. On that note, we have Spyware Blaster, which is an entirely protective program. You download it. This also blocks you from ever downloading certain files that are known to be total crap. Again, you just run that, you know, once a week update and click button to, like, enable all protection. Did -did 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 -did. Protection all enabled. Uh, you may have also heard of Adaware, which is also in the, um, uh, the same category there. If you're getting rid of Spyware, getting rid of Adware and so forth. There's actually a slightly ambiguous name they have there. It's ad aware, as in to be aware of adware. But that, it makes it sound like adware, but it's not. It's the thing that gets rid of adware. Sort of like how Spybot Search and Destroy starts off with the word spybot, which is a negative thing, but it, it destroys the spybots. Oh. Could use a slightly better name on both fronts, but that's okay. It's okay. Adware, also a very venerable program. Um, possibly better than the Spybot S&D these days. Uh, I just remember hearing something about that, but I, whatever, I run both. It's really, you're talking, we're talking about, like, you click a button, and less than a minute downloads the latest updates, and you, and you click a button, and then you just run it in the background, scanning for crap, you know, whatever stuff you might find. Speaking of crap, we have C Cleaner, which I believe that first C stands for crap. <laughs> and this gets rid of all sorts of stuff that's lying around on your computer, um, random... Uh, history files, uh, for instance, random temporary files, uh, random stuff that cleans out your recycle bin, which of course you can do yourself, but nevertheless it's there. Um, prompts you when you need to download a new version, which apparently I do. <laughs> Clicking on this thing as I go, just to, you know, once again for free. And it's got its own little registry cleaner thing uh, built in here right on the side. Run all that. I've been running it forever. Um, it thing saves backups of your registry. If you haven't heard of registry, it's a series of important files in your computer, all right? And with problems occurring in the registry, things can get slow. Uh, of course, the deal with changing the registry is theoretically you could really screw things up. 
Um, but A, this thing has never screwed anything up, and B, it also, you can make it save backups in case you ever want to change things back to the way they were, which I've always saved backups, and I've never, ever, ever needed them um, from CCleaner. So there's a great program to right there. Then, uh, you may have heard of defragmenting. This is when you use your hard drive for a while, and eventually everything gets slow, because basically it's all unorganized, you know, and at some point you need to stop and just organize everything to go in logical places. Uh, Windows comes with one of these automatically. You, uh, start programs is on Windows XP. Uh, accessories, system tools, disk defragmenter. But honestly, the one that comes with it isn't all that good. So there's this other company, Auslogix. A-U-S Logix. Um, they have a disk defrag utility that works just great. It works on your external hard drives as well. And a registry defrag, which you probably don't need as much, but it's there if you feel like it, etc. And Advanced System Care, yet another program. You turn it on, you do updates, it does random stuff. <laughs> Maybe like 500 security problems found. Want to fix them? Yes, ding. And by the way, Logic's there will throw in like, it'll fix a bunch of stuff and it'll be like, oh wait, there's more stuff to fix. Would you like to pay us to fix the rest of it? Don't pay them. You don't need to. If you're running all this, uh, which sounds like a lot, by the way, this whole list I'm giving, but it, it does, it's once a week, you know, or a couple minutes on each of these, or you run stuff in the background and do other stuff in the meantime. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, don't don't buy anything. <laughs> God, this is all legally free, and it's perfectly for good. good. Um, and then Zone Alarm. Good old Zone Alarm. This is the firewall program, um, which, you know, if you don't know what a firewall is, that basically it monitors how everything accesses the Internet, um, keeps you safe from a variety of attacks and stuff. Uh, when you run running Zone Alarm, that'll run a little box up in the corner there uh, in the taskbar. And anytime a new program comes up and tries to access the internet, it'll be like, Program XYZ wants to access the internet. Do you want to allow this? And if you know what Program XYZ is, and it furthermore needs to access the internet, you can say yes. There's also a little checkbox for always remember that decision. In my tech simple business, sometimes I have to tell people these things. Like, look, there's a checkbox. See that? It's right there. It's <laughs> So I'm being specific. Um... And so when you first download it, basically everything will pop up. You know, 101 programs on access to the internet. Is this cool? Yes, 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 yes. And then after that, you know, things are pretty much locked down. And so then, like, you know, evil virus wants to access the internet. You can be like, no. <laughs> uh, lock things down a little bit there. And then for that matter, there's other things which are not programs, but there's just stuff online. Just Google free online virus scan. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, this generally doesn't work as well as having an actual program in your machine. Because there might be some problem with the browser and stuff. I've encountered some problems and so forth. Um, but in general, once you get that working, it'll scan and it'll find practically any virus and for free. As I mentioned in my earlier video, Donasen and the donation economy, there's a lot of stuff becoming free thanks to the internet. It's really interesting. And while we're on the topic of free stuff, the other things are not maintenance programs. Uh, first off, you should be running Mozilla Firefox. It's it's open source browser. Come on, man, support the cause. Also, it's a great browser. It's it's better than Internet Explorer, uh, in my humble opinion, which is what most people use just because it comes with the thing. You know, it's the same reason they buy Norton. It's like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, it's good. We'll just check that box in the buying computer, you know, site or, or whatever you're getting it from because you don't know of better free alternatives. And if you want an office suite, there's something called Open Office does most of the stuff that uh, Word and PowerPoint and all that stuff does. A couple of problems, one of them being slow. Um, sometimes a compatibility issue uh, between this and that. Um, but generally it saves in both its own sort of format and in the regular Microsoft dot .doc sort of things. And that sort of stuff. So anyway, programs that are just AVG, uh, Antivirus, AVS Antivirus, Advanced System Care, Spyware Blaster, Spybot Search and Destroy, Ostologix Disk Defrag, Ostologix Registry Defrag, CCleaner, AdAware, Zone Alarm, and throw in the bonuses of Firefox and OpenOffice. There are a couple other Office suites that are, that are also free you could look into, but I've gone into enough detail already. With this sort of stuff, with that maintenance programs, you can basically go indefinitely uh, without any major trouble, without ever having to pay anything. It all works. And I know it because I use these programs. Thanks for watching. See you later.